Hey guys, what's up? Hello. Welcome to Let's Play RC. So not long ago, we put GPM stainless steel skid plates on the Traxxas UDR. The problem is, the battery tray cover piece does not stay on. So we're going to do a mod to fix that problem. Coming, Coming up! up. I'm Calvin. And on this channel we do all things RC, such as tips, tricks, reviews. We do unboxing, repairs, upgrades, some awesome run videos, and so much more. So if you're new around here, consider subscribing. Right. So uh, like we said, uh, the, the skid plate is not staying on for the battery tray cover. Nope. Right there. But also, if you walk, this piece flexes a bit too. So, flip the truck upside down, and the first thing we're going to do is just take off the skid, skid plates plate. here. So, you need the 2 mil hex driver. This front piece. And then you need the, what is it, the 2 mil? Two mil, or no, oh, this is a 1.5. 1.5 for these screws here, and we're just gonna remove the whole skid plate. Oh, I dropped the screw. Our dog's joining us. Our dog came to visit. Yeah. Yeah. He's under the table. He's not big enough to get up here. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he'd jump up and put his paws up if you let him. Yeah. I'll him down here. <laughs> All right, so. guest. <laughs> <laughs> so, my plastic skid plate actually cracked, but it doesn't matter because it just sits underneath the aluminum one anyway. So there's the plastic skid plate and there's the plastic battery tray holder. So we're going to take these over to the workbench, okay. just over here, and uh, we'll show you the mod that we do. Anyway guys, so here we are over at the workbench. So what, you, what you'll need if you want to do it this way is a high speed drill, mm -hmm. 3 mil bit, um, a sharpie or a pen to mark. We use gold because it shows up on aluminum or I'm black just, plastic. Gold is awesome. Yeah. Gold is the color. Uh, a punch to start your drill, a small crescent wrench, Robinson square screwdriver, a hammer, clamp and something to drill on if you're using a good table um, our workbench is in good shape we're not going to ruin it so we use this plate here to drill on and then I just went to the local hobby store and picked up some square bolts they are three mil by ten mil long and some matching lock washers are nuts sorry um, so yeah, so anyways, what we're going to do here now on this plastic piece, or on this large piece here, so this is where it was flexing, so we're going to add a couple of holes right here. So, it's pretty simple actually. Take the punch to get it started, like so. And I'm going to drill one hole. I guess before I start drilling, I should probably clamp it down so it doesn't move all over the place. And I'll just hold it from spinning, and we're going to drill it.
One thing I forgot to mention, safety goggles. Yeah, they save lives. They <laughs> save lives. They save eyes. No, they save lives. <laughs> piece which goes on your battery cover. This one, you try to line it up nice. Now, a little secret about this one you guys will want to know. The placement of these back screws here is important because if you don't put them in a good place the place that I show you then um, they will add, it'll get in the way of the battery chair you won't be able to put the cover on so so the placement for the back screws see, see the marks that's where you want them. So on this curved piece up here, if you put those screws here, it won't work. Now, of course, if you're real picky, you could measure, but know that this general area inside here is where if you put it outside here, it won't work. If you put it here, it won't work on this front piece. So you want it kind of, you know, 
well, what is that, about three quarters of an inch? But you could measure to make it an exact distance. I'm just going to eyeball it. I probably shouldn't, but... Don't for the sparks. I don't like sparks. They're scary. So, same thing here, guys. Once you uh, get your aluminum drilled, you just want to line that up <coughs> best you can. <coughs> you know, be real careful to try and line everything up um, so that this is flush, so that it works once you put it all back together. Little dot there, little dot there, little dot there, little dot there. there. All right, now I can drill my plastic. Wow. Wow. Much easier. Wow. Wow. Okay, guys, so that's it for the drilling. That means we can give her a safety belt. Now. Right? I'm just going to put the bolts through this way. Now, when I bought these at the hardware store, it was the, only, the closest thing I could find to what I was looking for um, at my hardware store. So these bolts are a little bit long, but I'll just cut the ends off of them with the uh, drum. So. And that's part of the reason I bought locking nuts. Because they will actually lock on and won't lose them. Now see, when I did this hole, I actually should have come a little bit over. Because it's right here. It'll still work. But, uh, a small wrench. Or... Whatever. You know, some, I'm trying to get better at uh, being descriptive, guys. But sometimes I feel really bad when I'm describing stuff. Because for the people out there that have mechanical inclination and skills or have done these kinds of things before, I feel like I'm being condescending. So, therefore, I lack descriptiveness on what we're actually doing. So, for you guys that do know, I'm not trying to be condescending. And for those that don't know, I'm just trying to be helpful. So, uh, I will continue working on my ability to describe exactly how I'm doing something. And hopefully nobody gets uh, upset or offended. I don't know how else to say it. Sometimes I can be a little bit brash. I just, I hate, I'm having a really difficult time deciding how to speak to you guys without sounding like a know-it-all or a, yeah. And I don't know everything. And in fact, the only reason that I know what I'm doing on this particular project it's not that I can't figure it out, but I actually used Dylan's UDR to figure out my placement of stuff. See, and I've kind of messed mine up a little bit because when I was doing his, I made sure that these bolts would sit in the right spot. Oh. But it'll still work because under this tray is just plastic. I can trim plastic pretty easily with the Dremel as long as it's not... Um, interfering with any functioning parts. See, like right now, I'm actually squishing on this little ridge right here with the bolt. So, here we go. Then I'm just going to 
trim these down so the ends of the bolts so there's no uh, sharp ends. I mean, obviously guys, this is the battery cover, so the batteries are going to be in here. So I don't want these bolt ends sticking up and possibly poking the battery. Exact same thing, so just it's big. We'll, we'll finish this up and meet you back over there. Now, Dylan's just gonna reinstall everything. Okay guys, so there's the finished product. Much better now that it uh, stays on and it's not bulging there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and maybe it was a little bit helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button as well as subscribe and hit that notification bell while you're at it. That way you guys don't miss a thing on this channel. Until next, next time, time, get, get out and play. play. See, See you guys, guys later. later. Thank you.